If you guys want cheap FIFA points, cheap packs or even extinct players, check the link in the description to foothome.com and use discount code DR5 for 5% off. But let's get straight into today's video. What is up guys? And I'm bringing you today the first episode of how to get started on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. So this series, I'm just going to be showing you guys some different trading methods. I'm going to try and run it for 5 to 10 episodes. I did upload her earlier, however, I took the video down uh, as it was not doing uh, too great. But anyways, we're going to start this series off and I'm just going to concentrate on getting as many uploads out as uh, for you guys as I possibly can. And I will be aware this weekend, so there will be videos, do not worry. There will be one tomorrow with somebody else and then on Sunday, I'll be back to record a video for you guys. But as you can see, today's method is going to be with kits. So the start of FIFA 16, kits are very easy to trade with and people don't go for them. So basically what you guys would like to do at the start of FIFA 16 is pick uh, a kit that goes for a bit. So you can see, to find that, I put the minimum price of a 1,000 coins. So at the start of the game, maybe put that. Uh, if you have 1 to 2k, maybe 3k at the start when the web app's out. Uh, what you guys want to do is just go through uh, and search up through the different uh, leagues. So you can see, we're going for this pink kit here because it goes for quite a bit. So Club Leon, Liga MX, this will be a great example. The next cheapest is 4,900 coins. So I'm going to throw a bid on this one. I do, in fact, get out bid. And someone bid like, say, nearly 3,500 coins or around that on this kit. So I don't actually go ahead and pick this one up. However, you guys will get the example of how it works. So you can either put the minimum of one kit or you can search through like specific leagues you can see uh, with BPL. There's loads of different leagues to do this with. Um, when it comes to kits, it's not really the popular leagues where they go for a lot. It's usually um, where they go for it in like random leagues. So you can see right there, like League Remax, you wouldn't expect a kit to go for a lot. MLS, that a lot of kits go for a lot over there. And there's Russian League, uh, a bronze kit that goes for a lot. You can see another example will be this Toronto kit. Uh, Toronto kit, quite a nice kit. Obviously, if it's a nice kit, that is why people buy it, not for the club that it is at. So you can see right now, Going over to the MLS, when I go and find it, I do go ahead and click on uh, Liga MX for some reason, and then I go ahead over to MLS. But anyway, you can see, like I say, in this league, there is a lot of kits that go for quite a lot of coins, uh, and some are very smart kits and nice-looking kits that people like to buy. So you can see Toronto, we go and find it right now, uh, and there's one on the market there for an open bid. The red one goes for about 2,500 coins, so we're going to try and put a bid on that one, I think of 1,000 coins or around that. And if you can pick those up, you can sell them off for some nice profit. You can see the other Toronto kit, there's only two on the market, one for 700, so I decided to take a risk and try and just over double my coins on this one. This will be a very nice, um, very nice profit to do. And you guys can even use these methods now on FIFA 15. However, like I say, this is going to be a FIFA 16 guide for you uh, mainly. And you can see, throw a bid on this red one. And it's basically how this method works, or basically how this works. It's very simple. You just go ahead, go through every league if you want to do that, or you just put the minimum, uh, minimum price at a thousand, and you just pick a kit that goes for a lot at the start of FIFA 16, and you can just throw bids on these kits. And the reason they're so good to trade with is because people aren't going to outbid you, because kits are not really the go-to thing to trade with, and people don't go ahead and trade with them. However, not many people will bid on these, so you can go ahead, pick them off for cheap, and sell them on for some very nice profits. And that's basically how this works for you guys. Definitely a 10 out of 10 method to use at the start of FIFA 16. And like I say, go ahead and still use it now if you'd like to. Uh, another example, Portland Kit, is our final example in this video. But that's basically it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, if we can try and hit 100 likes, that'd be fantastic. And also, please do subscribe if you guys are new to my channel. FIFA 16 content coming up soon. But that's basically all I've got. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.